In this video tutorial, we'll unbox the Philips 360 indoor pan and tilt camera and walk you through the setup process to ensure your home is secured with ease. We'll begin by showing you the contents of the package, followed by a step-by-step -step guide on how to install the memory card, connect the camera to your Wi-Fi network, and configure the settings using the Philips Home Safety app. By the end of this video, you'll have the camera fully set up and ready to monitor your home efficiently. First, let me briefly explain the features of the Philips 360 Indoor Pan and Tilt Security Camera, which comes with a two-year brand warranty, ensuring reliable performance and complete peace of mind. It offers enhanced 2K resolution, delivering crisp and clear video quality, so you can monitor your home with exceptional clarity during live video or playback. For secure video storage, the camera supports local storage on an SD card with AES 128-bit encryption, ensuring that your data remains protected, even if the SD card is removed. This added security feature guarantees that no one can access your videos without permission. With a 360 degrees view, the camera covers every angle of the room. Its pan-tilt-zoom capabilities allow you to see the entire area, ensuring that nothing is missed. The camera also features smart tracking, which automatically follows any moving object within its field of view and sends you real-time alerts. The camera's night vision feature uses powerful infrared LED lights, enabling clear visibility up to 10 meters in low-light conditions, offering round-the-clock protection. Additionally, the camera is equipped with an alarm siren for enhanced security. For those who prefer cloud storage, the Philips CCTV camera offers a cloud subscription option through the Play Store or Apple Store. The camera also includes features like two-way audio, allowing for communication through the built-in microphone and speaker, as well as motion and sound detection, and auto motion tracking, ensuring comprehensive home security. Memory Card Installation before installing or removing the memory card, always ensure the camera is powered off to prevent any potential damage to both the camera and the card. The microSD card slot is located on the bottom of the rotating lens. To access it, gently tilt the camera lens upward. Insert the memory card as demonstrated in the video, ensuring it fits securely into the slot. The camera supports microSD cards of up to 128GB, providing ample storage for extended recording durations. To insert or remove the card, simply press it gently until it clicks into place or pops out. With a 128GB memory card, you can store up to one week of footage, depending on the video quality, frame rate, and whether you choose continuous or motion-triggered recording modes. After the memory card is properly inserted, power on the camera, and it will begin recording automatically. Always ensure the card is seated correctly to avoid data loss or recording interruptions. To power up your Philips camera, connect the camera to a power source using the provided USB power adapter and USB cable. Insert the USB end of the cable into the adapter, then attach the other end to the camera's power port. Ensure the adapter is plugged into a functional wall socket or a power strip. Once the camera is connected to the power source, it will automatically begin its boot-up sequence. During this process, the camera's pan-tilt PT, lens will rotate, accompanied by an audio signal indicating that the device is initializing and preparing for operation. You'll also notice that the red LED will glow, serving as a check to ensure the motor functions are working properly. Initially, the red light will illuminate steadily, indicating that the camera is receiving power and undergoing system checks. Once the boot-up process is complete, the red light will start flashing, signaling that the camera is now ready for use and confirming that it's ready for network configuration. Download and install the Philips Home Safety app. To set up your Philips camera, start by downloading and installing the Philips Home Safety app on your smartphone or tablet. Locate the QR code in the camera's user manual and scan it using your phone's camera to be directed to the app's download page in the Google Play Store, for Android, or Apple App Store, for iOS. Alternatively, you can manually search for, Philips Home Safety, in your App Store. 
ensure the app is developed by Versuni Netherlands. Once found, tap install to download it. Depending on your internet speed, the download may take a few minutes, so make sure you have a stable connection. After installation, open the app to begin the setup. If you already have an account, log in. New users will be guided through account creation. Create a Philips Home Safety account. When you open the Philips Home Safety app, you will encounter two options, logging in with your existing credentials or registering for a new account. If you're an existing user, simply enter your registered email address and password in the provided fields. Click the Login button to enter your credentials and access your account. For new users, begin by clicking the I am new button, which will direct you to the registration page. Here, you will need to enter a valid email address in the first field. This email is essential, as it will be used for account verification and to send important notifications about your camera and the app. To simplify the registration process, you can choose the Continue with Google option. When you select this, your mobile phone's linked email address will appear on the screen. Simply confirm this email, and then click Continue. By doing so, you will allow the app to use your Google information to create your Philips Home Safety account. After agreeing to the terms and conditions, follow the prompts to complete the account creation process. This method not only streamlines registration but also ensures that your account is set up securely and conveniently. Additionally, on the welcome page, your name will automatically be retrieved from Google and displayed. You can modify this first name and home name to your preference. Also, be sure to proceed and allow notifications and other required permissions. Optionally, you can enhance the security and convenience of your Philips Home Safety app by enabling biometric or face authentication. To activate this feature, simply click on the Go to Account Settings option within the app. Once you're in the account settings, you'll find the option to enable biometric login, such as fingerprint or facial recognition, depending on your device's capabilities. This feature allows you to log into the app quickly and securely without needing to enter your email and password each time you reopen it. Now that your Philips Home Safety app is set up and ready to use, adding your camera is a straightforward process. Start by clicking on the Add Device option within the app. You may be prompted to grant location permissions, so make sure to allow this for the app to function optimally. Once you've done that, look for the Indoor Camera Series 3000 in the list of devices. Select this option to proceed. The app will then prompt you to confirm that your camera is in network configuration mode. Which means the app will prompt you to confirm whether the camera's red LED is blinking continuously. If the red LED is not blinking, you will need to reset the camera by pressing and holding the reset button for up to 5 seconds. This action will restore the camera to its factory settings, ensuring it's ready for a new configuration. If the camera's LED is blinking, you can proceed by confirming this state with the Next option in the app. This confirmation step ensures that the camera is in the correct mode for the setup process. For demonstration purposes, we have reset the camera, a voice prompt will confirm that the reset was successful. After resetting, allow a few moments for the camera to prepare itself for network configuration mode. Note, when configuring the Wi-Fi for your camera, it's essential to keep it near your internet modem or router. Now that the red light on your Philips camera is flashing, it indicates that the camera is ready for use and in configuration mode, accompanied by a voice announcement confirming this status. To proceed, click the, the Next option in the app which will guide you to the Wi-Fi configuration step. Remember that the camera only supports the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band, so ensure you are connected to a compatible network. Begin by clicking the Connect to your network option, which will display a list of available Wi-Fi networks in your vicinity. From this list, select your home Wi-Fi network. After choosing your network, enter the Wi-Fi password carefully, as any mistakes will prevent the camera from connecting successfully.
Once you've entered the correct password, the app will redirect you to the QR code generation page. Click on the show QR code option to generate a QR code specific to your camera's connection. This QR code is essential as it contains the necessary information for the camera to link to your Wi-Fi network. To complete this part of the setup, hold your smartphone in front of the camera lens at a distance of 10 to 30 centimeters, approximately 4 to 12 inches. The camera will recognize the QR code, and you'll hear a beep sound. After hearing the beep, click the I heard a beep option in the app to initiate the connection to your Wi-Fi network. Once the connection is established, the app will display a message stating, the camera has been added successfully. This confirmation indicates that your camera is now ready for use and can begin monitoring your desired area. Additionally, the camera's LED will turn green, signaling that it is connected to your Wi-Fi and fully operational. You can customize your camera's name according to your preferences or specific use. This can help you easily identify the camera, especially if you have multiple devices. After entering or modifying the camera name, click on the Go to your home option to navigate to your device dashboard. Here, you'll see the list of your added devices. To view the live stream from your camera, simply click on the Live View option next to the corresponding device name. This will allow you to see real-time footage from your camera. The camera is now fully equipped and ready to use, offering features like PTZ, pan, tilt, and zoom, control. This functionality allows you to adjust the camera's viewing angle and direction as needed, making it versatile for various monitoring scenarios. Once you've successfully configured the Wi-Fi and added the camera to the app, you can install it in your chosen location. The camera will enable live streaming, playback, and PTZ controls, accessible from anywhere in the world, whether you're connected via mobile data or Wi-Fi. To finalize your initial setup and ensure the camera operates optimally, it's essential to set the correct date and time and configure the storage and recording options. Click the settings icon on the camera's main page to access these features. Here, you can customize vital aspects such as notification preferences, cloud storage settings, and recording schedules, tailoring the camera's operation to meet your specific needs. Local Storage Setup In the Storage section, you'll find options related to SD card local storage. Ensure that the inserted SD card is in normal status. If it isn't, click the Format SD Card option to initialize it for use. For demonstration, we've switched off the mobile device's Wi-Fi and enabled 4G internet to verify the camera's remote accessibility. This confirms that it operates seamlessly worldwide, whether on mobile data or any Wi-Fi network, allowing you to monitor your space from anywhere with peace of mind. For more detailed instructions, refer to another video in this series, which covers storage settings, event alerts, two-way audio, and other configurations. For additional clarification, we provide in-depth explanations of these features in further segments of this video series. If you found this video helpful, please consider supporting us by liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel. Your support enables us to create more content and offer valuable resources to our audience. Every bit of support is greatly appreciated. Thank you.